for Tony Geminani. Oh yeah. Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome to Mostly Pizza. My name's Ivan and today I'm gonna to do a quick review of some pizza. Uh, we did a pickup order for Slice House, which is a place based in, um, which is all over the Bay Area in California that I know of at least, where you can pick up some of Tony's pizza. Yes. The Tony. And uh, I will say I'm a little nervous about the pizza. It looked like it was just reheated pizza um, when we bought it and it wasn't ch cheap. It was about $50. So we'll see how it goes. But I wanted to do uh, a couple of, um, check out a couple of their pizzas. Uh, one is the Cal Italia, Cal Italia pizza. The other one is a New Yorker, uh, two of my favorites. We had the pleasure of going to Tony's a few years ago uh, in San Francisco, and it was kind of a life-changing experience for me in terms of pizza, and it really drove me to want to learn how to make pizza uh, better than I was before. Uh, and that's when I actually got the book. I got the book the same day I went to the restaurant, and I've been making pizza uh, ever since. And so we'll see how these pizzas are. We just got home, and so let's open them up and see. course in the times of COVID you have to be understanding of the fact that you know it's a little bit harder to, to find good pizza and everything like that but we wanted to kind of see and so that looks like the Italiana and that's the New Yorker um, both look great you can kind of see the browning or the the coloration from uh, the malt powder that the diastatic malt powder that he puts in his recipes as far as I know, he uses his recipes for this pizza, uh, the same that's in the book. So I'm going to get a couple slices. Um, I'll be honest, it's not too fresh looking. The cook, I mean, it's it looks nice, but it's kind of not cooked great. It's really soft and gummy. The outside crust is really kind of hard. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure. We'll see. We've got this guy, which is not cut fully. Even the cheese is kind of congealed on it a little bit. Um, yeah, and we kind of picked it up this way. It was like lukewarm when we got it. Uh, the ricotta cheese is hard. It's not even soft. It's like almost rubbery. Hmm. Weird. Um, yeah, not cheap pizza. The, the, it was $50 for us to pick this up. So... We were surprised at how fast it was available. We were in the right in the area and we ordered the pizza and it was pretty much immediately available. So it was a little suspicious at that point. We go to the pickup place. It's kind of this weird, like uh, almost industrial size area that was right next to like a Starbucks. And we went inside and we picked up the pizza. Uh, well, we didn't go inside. Uh, because of COVID, you have to be invited into the, the place. It's a very small area, so you have to buzz in which seemed weird. It was like uh, almost a business park type of area. So you buzz in to unlock the door, you go in, you say your name, and the pizzas are ready for you and they just kind of hand it to you. Uh, my wife actually went in to go get the pizzas and she mentioned that it just looked like they were kind of sitting there in, uh, you know, heated ovens of some sort. And so um, that was a suspicion there. We got home, we got the pizza, and I saw the, the boxes felt Kind of like they've been sitting in like an oven all day they were kind of moist they kind of feel a little bit moist almost um like they've been steaming in the pizza for a long time they were sealed which you know which is good but at the same time an indication that they've been in here a long time the pizza itself is lukewarm i don't know it just doesn't feel fresh but let's see how it tastes I mean, it tastes okay. Um, the crust is really dry at the bottom, which is a surprise to me. Um, the cheese is really congealed. It's not, you know, it's, it's leftover pizza is, is what it tastes like. You can see how much bite that has to it. pretty chewy having Tony's pizza before this doesn't this doesn't feel the same so I'm again suspicious of this of why 
It's like leftover feeling pizza. Let's try the other one. I like the flavors. Same idea though. I feel like that if this was a fresh pizza, it would be fantastic, but it's not fresh. So I'm a little disappointed. Let's try the crust. Crust on this one's better. It's softer, but still has a lot of chew. You only get that chewiness when the, the dough's been, or the pizza's been sitting for a long time. Almost like stale bread. Um, it's kind of disappointing, to be honest, to, to experience this level. Of someone I kind of idolize, so to speak, uh, from the pizza world. Uh, I, it's a little disappointing to, to get this from... It's a little disappointing to get this from $50 worth of pizza. For two 12 inch pizzas um, with Tony's name on it. I, I feel Tony's name should be stand for more than that. I use his recipes quite often. I modify them now myself a little bit to, to suit my needs but even if you look at one of my last videos where I burnt the hell out of a pizza that tastes better. Um, I'm a big advocate of making your pizza from home yourself obviously. Uh, fresh pizza is great. It always wins. Yeah, but I'm a little disappointed. Um, Tony, I don't know if you'll ever see this. I don't know if you'll ever notice this, but uh, I would be kind of ashamed to put my name on this pizza. Um, we've had this, this is like 15 minutes from when we picked it up, literally door to door. And your pizza, if you want it delivered, should it shouldn't taste like this. This tastes like it's been sitting for several hours, uh, not just for a few minutes. Kept warm in maybe an oven or a heating uh, element or Maybe in a bag. Uh, it feels like it's steamed for a long time and hardened. And that's not great. So anyways, I just wanted to do a quick review. Uh, I thought of having the idea of doing this video because as soon as we picked it up, it felt like a weird experience. It is pizza. It's something that I have spent a lot of time kind of tasting different recipes, trying different things. Having gone to Tony's, I had a wonderful experience going to the restaurant back when we could go to the restaurants before COVID. But now that there's COVID here, we were really excited to get a chance to try it. And this is extremely disappointing. So anyways, let me know what you think. Uh, like and subscribe if you get a chance. Uh, and I plan on doing a little bit more of this in the future where I review different types of pizzas uh, from big local chains like Domino's or Papa John's to small local chains where uh, we've actually enjoyed pizza by delivery, even in the time of COVID. And I'll say that the local chains that I've had are 10 times better than this pizza um and that's going that's saying a lot i would say so anyways let me know what you think in the comments below and until next time thanks for watching